What the heck is going on? Yo, what is going on my people? So we're back with more Hungry Lamu. Now this game actually recently got an update, so we're about to go ahead and dive on in. If you guys remember from the Hungry Lamu from before, this thing's a menace and it's freaking creepy. But if you guys do like this video, go ahead, leave a like on it and subscribe. We greatly appreciate all the support, guys. We're on our road to 20k. Let's dive on in. Let's do it. Hungry Lamu. Oh god. You know what? Wait, hello Lamu. I forgot it's a narrator in this game. You had a good nap, didn't you? Oh dear. Looks like somebody's hungry. Let's go find some food for that big stomach of yours, Lamu. And you know what's kind of messed up? From the previous uh, gameplay that I've done of Hungry Lamu, I suspect this is corpses. Do not take any of this fluffy stuff with a faint of heart. I feel that these... But what's that? Banana peels, grapes, and apple cores are all body parts. Guaranteed. What is this? Lamu's favorite book. If only Lamu could still could still read. That's that's something. Could still read. So Lamu used to know how to read? And another thing too, which made this even more creepier. Lamu has a human face, which makes me think Lamu used to be human. Maybe an experiment gone wrong. Isn't it a beautiful day, Lamu? Let's find some cherries to put in that stomach of yours. So find three cherries. Okay, so it starts off the same. I'm not sure if we follow in the same storyline and they added more stuff. Or... Uh, I, I don't know. That's still I still say that's blueberries. I don't care. <laughs> but either way it go, I honestly think that we're probably doing a... Oh. There aren't any cherries beyond this point. Oh, okay. Maybe they move the objectives closer to each other, which is great, so. Yum, weren't those cherries delicious? Ah, uh, but Lamu is still hungry. Cherries are not enough for Lamu's stomach. Was that the, was, oh, that's the dog. Okay, so it plays out similar. Oh, what was that? Well, isn't it a cute little banana? Lamu loves fruits. I'm sure this banana wouldn't mind helping, Lamu. Let's go meet this banana, Lamu. Poor doggo. I feel so bad. Now I know what's gonna happen. I feel so much worse. So it's playing out pretty much the same. Hello, little banana. It's not having that. Oh dear. Looks like I was wrong. The banana is very selfish and doesn't want to help Lamu. We'll need to make the banana sleep so that Lamu can have a delicious meal. And I already know the drill. <laughs> I already know the drill. Dude, it's so messed up. What a hearty meal. I'm sure the banana didn't mind. Despite its sour attitude, it sure tasted very sweet. However, there's still some space in Lamu's big stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that, Lamu? Okay, still playing out the same. It's a bunch of fruit friends. We don't see a lot of them around here. Their fruit shall be enough to fill up Lamu's stomach. Let's go say hi to them, Lamu. So, it's still playing out very similar to how it how it's been before. So, so we still we still got this. It looks like they want to play a game, just like the other fruit friends we've met in the past. So, I, I peep what they did in the, in this update. They did add more fruit friends in the cave that we saw in the beginning. Come on, Lamu. Let's find our new friends so we can have some of their delicious fruits. I wonder if they're hiding the same way. Oh yeah, the bees. I forgot about that. Okay. Okay, find apple. Ouch! The bees stung me everywhere! I don't know why I made him that voice, but hey, I just assume so. Don't blame me. I'm just gonna talk normally for I'm not gonna do the voices. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Looks like I've got to be careful next time. I I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Have my apple. 
You deserve it. Now you getting eaten. I hate the puns. I hate it. I hate the puns so much. And I'm really curious that they amp up the difficulty as well. Because the beforehand, I almost got caught by Lamu. Okay. Oh, that was a high fall. Did you know oranges give you tons of energy? Have mine. Maybe next time, you'll be able to climb a tree too. Ah, <sighs> you just ate freaking heads off, man. Alright, what was the last one? It was the rocks, then you got the tree. I think the other one was a fire, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's hot, 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 hot. Mm. Oh geez, you couldn't try something less burning? Mm. Well, I hope you like burn pear because it's all yours. <sighs> yum, yum, yum. Weren't your fruit friends just delicious, Lamu? What a great day planning or playing with friends, eating delicious fruits, and having such fun. Today was a marvelous day, wasn't it, Lamu? Alright, now it's my turn. Let's get him. What's that, Lamu? You're still hungry? Alright, here we go. What the heck? Sounded like Tasha. I told them not to make so much of the ruckus. Let's see what they're up to. Oh. Okay, so we still got our trusty flashlight. I'm gonna look around a bit. Wait, the campsite is... Oh, yeah, I, I gotta go to the campsite first. I'm still trying to figure it out. I see slight changes, um, especially in the beginning. The middle, pretty much, where you play as Lamu is practically the same. So, I'm not really sure. Oh, hold tab for map. Yo. That's crazy. I didn't even know this was a thing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I had to go to the fire. Where did they all go? Where's Mochi? Mochi? Where are you, girl? She couldn't have run off too far. I feel so bad for the dog. I honestly do. Like, protect all doggos, please. Okay, there's Mochi right here. Oh, my lord. Mochi. What the heck? Who did this? Poor girl. Man, I feel so bad for the dog. Shove, you did this. This is messed up. Tasha, Ken, Leon. Where the heck are you guys? Yeah, they got body. So, when I looked on the map, right? Um, going from the campsite straight ahead... Do I have to find... I heard footsteps already. Dude, is Lamu on the prowl? Lamu's on the prowl already! Yo! Lamu! My boy! Yo, Lamu's hungry. Now, beforehand, Lamu almost got me. And, like, just... Yo, Lamu, chill, bruh. Lamu, like, I'm about to get me some camper legs, man. Me, boy, wait. What is this? Is this Lamu's cave? Is this the cursed cave they keep talking about? Crap, better safe in here than out there. I told you, man, those fruit piles were bought. I told you, bro. What the heck? Oh, I thought Lambo was over there. What is this? Miss Mum? Evil. Let's see. Can I? I can't really zoom in. Surprise, today is Llama's birthday. His mum and dad made him a delicious fruit cake. Oh wait, oh my, mom and dad, that was nice, that was a nice surprise. Lamu exclaimed, I didn't know you both could bake, okay? Um, only fruit, 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 only fruit. Good lord. Llamas are, hey, llamas is a herbivore, which means they only eat fruits. Interact, the hungry Lamu. A children's book. This book belongs to 
Larry? Is that the Larry? I see L A space R Y. What I'm getting from this is that Ramu was a person, obviously, whose name is Larry. Probably been in an abusive household growing up because he keeps referring to or his father into a monster. The mom, I'm pr I'm pretty sure the mom got bodied by the father in the abuse and things like that. Or it could play out to where Lamu actually got them both, but I'm assuming he got the father after the father probably did something to the mother. That's what I'm getting at. All right. It's a new day today. Everybody's waking up. Lama, Lama sees the sunshine and waking up with a big yawn. It's a daily routine for this young animal uh, to wake up well rested and the break of dawn. Okay. Rumble, rumble. Lama's stomach growls. Look like Llama's hungry for fresh food. Oh dear me. Oh, that's a sign to go, Llama said. Time for some breakfast. I sure hope it's good. Dude, you just see that extra illustration here? The birthday hat. I just peeped this. The birthday hat. That's a syringe, bro. That's a whole syringe, bro. Do you see that? Miss Home. Llama leaves his home whistling as he walks, thinking of the adventure to his meal. Tweet, tweet, toot, toot, toot. Okay, bird sounds. <laughs> oh, that's him whistling. Never mind. He whistles gleefully, overwhelming euphoria as what truly, as he what what he truly feels. So, from this first illustration, he obviously misses his old home. Both of his parents are body. Both of them. Also, this page is missing. So I'm very curious. Is this the torn out page that was that's outside of the book? Burp, oh my rude oh how rude of me, Llama says. What a delicious fruit. Truly tasty. Llama puts uh pats himself. Satisfied with his uh, satisfied with his feast. Now he has to head home. Best not to be lazy. They are fruits, they are fruits, they are fruits. So, what I'm getting at with this, I don't know what this syringe possibly did. I'm assuming, I'm, I'm going probably a bit too deep into this, but I'm assuming that the syringe turned this child into Lamu. Lamu, the only thing that Lamu has left is these children's books and probably convinced himself that, yo, I'm, I'm Lamu. Like, <laughs> But the thing is, he's trying to, like, Lamu's trying to convince himself that all the people that he bodied are fruits. He keeps saying it over and over again, repeating. It's like when, what's the, what's the term? Like, if you keep continuously telling yourself a lie, you start to believe it. It's kind of like that. And he keeps saying, they are fruits, they are fruits, they are fruits. Continuously convincing himself that people that he is folding over and over again are fruits. Wow. Oh, God, it continues. No more home run away llama walks back home belly very full he reaches his home just when the moon rose he entered the door with a smile on his face but when he saw next made him struck a pose a pose interesting term no more home run away he ran away the parents they, i take it these are police they have the hats and stuff i'm assuming they're police they discovered the two two um the two graves and he ran he runs away let me let me see dr bronze well known for his studies inter interspecies genetics i knew it i knew so he's a mutation i freaking knew it guys i've been saying this since the very first episode of this i said yo i legit think lambo's a human i've been saying that for the longest time man i was right so he literally he has been found out for doing interspecies uh yeah interspecies genetic fusion which has recently been exposed for fraud his most recent studies of findings were proven to be uh, falsified on the 15th of april dr bronze revealed his findings of human animal genetic fusion allowing scientists to retrieve specific dna from animals and placing it into human bodies allowing humans to have traits of exclusive to the animal so this dude took llama dna and infuse it to his son that's why and dr bronze is the father of that said child 
Guys, we got it, man. We got it, bro. We got it. That's crazy. All your fault. I did not want anymore. So, literally, Lamu. Lamu's is far gone at this point. Because remember in the beginning of the beginning of the game, the narrator, which I'm pretty sure is all in Lamu's head as well, um, the narrator said you used to know how to read. This is the only thing Lamu has left, and he can't even read this anymore. Which, I feel bad for Lamu, but at this point, he's too far gone. He already bodied like over a dozen people who went in this force, including the main character's friends. That's crazy. <sighs> See, I do not want any more. After a long day, a still fun, um, and a fun time, Llama had a Llama head to bed. He tucked himself into his warm blanket. He thought to himself, "What a fun day!" Reminiscing about tomorrow's uh, banquet. Let's see, the end. Still hungry. And on top of that, Lamu. I say, in my opinion, Lamu, along with this genetic mutation of being fused with a llama, also has this curse of continuously being hungry, which is why he hunts people. I and then the thing is, hunting people, he still thinks that they're fruit. That's crazy. That is so freaking insane. What the heck is going on? Oh God! Well, I became the fruit! I became the fruit! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, he ate me! Oh my god! Around 2100 hours, loud noises were heard within the bronze residence. Concerned neighbors immediately dialed for emergency services. The cops in the picture to inspect the concerning incident that what authorities found in the love, lovely home was uh, absolutely horrifying. The Bronze family was well established within their friendly neighborhood, uh, well liked by their neighbors and even having occasional get-togethers. Eric Bronze, 52, Tina Bronze, 51, and I believe that's Larry, I want to say, Larry Bronze. We're a, ha we're a happy family of three. Besides Dr. Eric Braun's exposure of fraudulent scientific findings and six months ago, the family lived with no uh, with no grudges against any other people and minded their own business. Dude, so since he got found out as fraudulent, this dude's continued his research. Dude, I'm starting to build up, man. I'm sorry, but literally, he started to continue his research after being found out as a fraud for his fu his his genetic fusion research so after that he probably couldn't handle it and he was like you know what i'm still about to do this but guess who's my guinea pig gonna be his own son i already knew it man let's go it has come to the shock that saturday night dr eric and tina bronze were found brutally in their own homes larry's body missing from the terrifying crime scene i'm assuming it's larry because i've seen the name faded but it, it may not be larry i'm just saying uh dr uh dr eric and tina Braun's heads were detached from their bodies laid across the floor n uh nowhere near the necks and uh the living the living room where was a mess with furnitures thrown about and flipped over the graphic scene immediately triggered the authorities' conduct through the investigation of the gruesome incident. Families were ad advised to stay indoors, lock any, uh, lock any form of entry to their residential buildings. For the time being, the authorities assured the public that everything will be handled properly and swiftly. The search party has been concluded by the authorities to look for the young Larry, or the young child, I will say. It'll make sense. Yeah, see, or the young Larry, dead or alive, is still unknown for what could have been committed by the horrendous act. Let's see, although we are all afraid, it is strongly advised to follow the authorities' orders in order to maintain not only our safety, but our loved ones as well. We can only hope that the culprit will be appre apprehended soon. It's Larry. Uh, our deepest condolences to the extended family of Dr. Uh, Eric and Tina Bronze. This was truly an unfortunate and undeserved incident. If you find Larry or any resemblance of the young child, please report it to the authorities immediately. Dude, this just, just opened a huge rabbit hole into this game. I want to see more updates to Hungry Lamb, who I honestly do. But good lord have mercy, things just got way more intense than what I thought. Now, my theory, I didn't know... I thought it was like more so just a, um, a dude in a costume initially for my first playthrough because I'm like, 
he looks, his face looks too human in comparison to the other depictions of llamas based off the game and stuff like that, right? It, it was too uncanny, the way how they describe Lamu. And now, he is a product of genetic mutation from his own father at that. So I'm pretty sure when Lamu finally fully became Lamu and lost it, bodied both of his parents in the process and his, and ran away as in the storybook when the authorities were there so by the time so he was really close in the area too but he ran away into the lamu um campgrounds or forest or whatever and yeah every person that came into the campground slowly got bodied one by one freaking crazy freaking epic at that holy crap this is awesome i enjoyed this this old stories ending for this game it's pretty fire guys that was hungry lamb i hope you guys did enjoy today's video it's gonna be kind of long i'm gonna try to chop up as much parts as possible because right i've been recording for about 30 minutes so i'm gonna try to chop it down as much as possible to make it enjoyable for you guys but if you enjoyed today's video go ahead and leave a like on it and subscribe i do appreciate all the support you guys been giving me and also this is being recorded directly after yesterday's stream i just want to thank all of my legendary army just all of you guys I appreciate you guys for, you know, just being out there helping me out. Thank you so much for the support. And we're on our road to 20K. So if you're new, hit that sub button. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.